recorded strike by junior doctors this week will cause unparalleled levels of disruption. That's according to NHS leaders. The health service's national medical director has told Sky News he's very concerned about the potential impact on patients in hospitals if the strike goes ahead. And the health secretary has accused doctors and leaders of taking a militant stance in their pay demands. Joining me now is Dr. Vivek Trivedi. He's the co-chair of the BMA's Junior Doctors Committee. Dr. Trivedi, thank you so much for talking to us. So is the strike... Is the strike going ahead? As it stands, the strike is going ahead. We wrote to Mr. Barclay uh, towards the end of last week that he has the power to avert these strikes. All we were hoping to do is for him to take us seriously and present a credible offer for us to start uh, a basis of negotiations. He has the ability to stop the strikes, and it's a shame that he's refusing to meet with us to do this. Okay, well, um, Drohi would say that he is taking it seriously, and uh, this is Stephen Barclay. I'm quoting, he has said that, unfortunately, the decision by the BMA junior doctors leaders to maintain an unrealistic position meant we were unable to make progress with talks. It seems they are intent on maintaining a militant stance rather than working with the government and the NHS management to meet the best interests of their members and of patients. So he's saying, not only is it your fault, it's you're maintaining an unrealistic position. That's why you couldn't, there was no progress in the talks. And um, uh, junior doctors leaders are intent on maintaining a militant stance. Well, I would disagree with that. So in our talks that we had on the 22nd of March, after our first set of strikes, we put out our opening position, which is in the public domain and has not changed. All we're looking to do is to reverse the pay cuts that we've had since 2008 and go back to neutral, just to go back to, to net zero. And not only did he refuse to give us a, a counteroffer of a credible nature on how we may go about addressing this erosion, he didn't give us a counteroffer at all. So I think it's completely disingenuous for him to suggest that we're the ones not willing to negotiate when it's clearly him that's um, refusing to do this. So you're asking for 35%. What counteroffer would you accept? So what we've said to him, for him to stop the strikes, is a, a credible offer which uh, accept, uh, acknowledges the erosion that doctors have gone through. We've lost more than 26% of our pay. And we just want something that shows that he's serious uh, and, and also a clear path to negotiations that we can... Um, go down to try and recoup what we've lost over the last 15 years. How? What do you say to someone who's reading all of this and saying, OK, you want a 35% pay rise. I can't get to my cancer check. I can't get to my cancer appointment. And you want 35%. Barclay says that that would mean doc, junior doctors would receive more than £20,000 extra a year. I apologize to anyone that has any appointments uh, cancelled or postponed because of our action next week. And you mentioned cancer care. What we've seen uh, is we've allowed us to get into a position where we're failing the public already. We're already missing cancer care deadlines because we don't have enough staff to, to see these patients in a timely manner. And helping to restore our pay, so not a pay rise, just to restore our pay, is, is one of the main ways that we can do this. And so I would urge Mr. Barclay to please come to the table, uh, accept our offers to talk, and we can hopefully come to a resolution as quickly as possible. Do you accept what he says? He says, I'm concerned these strikes carry a considerable risk to patient safety. Do you accept that your strikes do that? I, I accept that the strikes will cause a level of disruption. But as we saw in our 72-hour strikes, we were able to strike safely with the, with the help and cover of senior doctors like consultants and specialty doctors across the, across the country um, covering for junior absences. So senior officials within the BMA are in close contact with senior officials in NHS England to ensure that um, appropriate processes are being put into place to allow this level of, um, to allow uh, an appropriate level of patient care and patient cover over our 96 hour strikes this coming week. But again, it's in Mr. Barclay's gift to avert these strikes. All we want is a credible offer on the table. Okay, Dr. Trevedi, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you.